So I don't know where you live, but where I live, the bosa is worth the drive. It's little pieces of plastic put in a drink that make no sense. No, bo bosa has boba tea. Okay, and but they're why, not plastic. They're but why do you put something that has no flavor in it? That's, that's, it adds nothing to it. No, it does because that's like Rice Krispie treats. You put Rice Krispies, which we had have this conversation. No flavor, the half flavor. And the marshmallows. No, we found out the half and flavor. And the marshmallows by themselves are not that great. When you add the Rice Krispies, that texture makes them heavenly. No, no, no. But Rice Krispie has flavor. Boba tea is the same thing. They don't really have flavor by themselves. They're little tapioca things. But when you stick them in a flavored drink, wow. It, it makes no sense. The straw is so big so you yeah. can get the little clumps of tapioca. Your thing is, is, why don't you just put saran wrap and keep it around the Rice Krispie treat? Listen, and if, it gives a new texture. If you live in North Carolina like Pamela does... We're so sorry that you probably don't have Bosa near you. No, not North but Carolina. But it might be worth the drive. A, a Bosa alive is worth the drive. Worth the drive. We'll be, we'll be right, right back. back. Good morning. Welcome to Wake Up. Where we wake up. I'm Pastor Jason. I'm Pastor Scott. Got a great time for you today. We got a scripture. We have a scripture and uh, no Bosa. No. No. Why? I don't know why. It's it, bug, it bugs me. No, we're still on that. Today's not going to be about Bosa. It's going to be about the bread of life. The bread of life. And that's what we what need this morning. What if you put Bosa things in the bread of life? You had such a great message this week. Thank and you I so felt much. like your message had boba tea in it. It was, it was, it was a, so good. It was like a drink that you could chew. And I tried to take the Bosa out of it. It was hilarious. The boba or boba. They're boba, right? It was hilarious. They're called a boba. And <laughs> there's something in my drink. It's like a boba. I want to talk about your sermon. All right. It was hilarious. It was... Uh, Thank you. <clears throat> you. You went through... Um, the context. Yeah. Context of your life. Because the week before we said the context of, of other people, and not yeah. to jump to conclusions, but yeah. what do we do in our own life? As soon as we have a storm, we're like, woe is me. This is never going to turn out. I don't know where God's at. How come things always happen to me? And you don't know all the things that are going behind the scenes. Yeah, you talked about the, the disciples in the boat and the big storm and Jesus was sleeping and, and kind of this idea that either we seek Christ, we seek or we sink. Oh, I like that. Seek or sink. Seek or sink. Seek or sink. And, and then the, the, the other thing we talked about, you talked about was obedience. Yeah. The obedience of Joseph. To stay obedient to the word, even in the midst of when it looked like you should just give up and uh, give in and not continue on. Yeah, things weren't going right, so we just all so we stopped going to church. That's right. Why? It, Why? Church is the one place you should go. When things aren't midst, working, go to God's house. Go to God's house. And then the last one was about how we speak. Yeah. And uh, you talked about, so it's kind of like SOS. Uh, and, and so I want to take us to Mark chapter 3 today. I'm going to start with verse 1, and I want to look at this. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue. Where did he go? He went to church. So this was church. I thought he didn't go to church. And Somebody a man said that. with a shriveled hand was there. I wonder if it was a roller. So he got up that morning. You think he had a roller hand? No, he had a shriveled hand. And uh, he got up that morning and went to where? God's house. He went to God's house. I think wow. the location was important here. It's always important. So Mark chapter 3 really bears out, okay, so Jesus was where on Sundays? Well, on the Sabbath, which is Saturdays. But, it's Saturday night service. But where was he? I wonder if that date night. One day he, a week? He was in God's house. The other six days he was where? Out I doing his thing. doing stuff. But one day a week he went into the synagogue. This man went to the synagogue and the, the church and Jesus... Uh, some of them were looking for a reason to accuse Jesus, so they watched him closely to see if he would heal this man on the Sabbath. That's so funny. Of all the funny things, I was like, when you first read it, you're like, he's looking to see if he'll steal. Look and see if he'll... Do something really do bad. Do something really bad. If he'll murder somebody. They're like, no, 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 no. Here's our plan. We're going to see if he does something nice. Yeah. Let's if just he, see. If he's going to... He's that guy that's going to heal. The idea was, is like, you're not allowed to do any work on the Sabbath, and healing apparently would be a work. Yeah. Doing something great and taking care of somebody's shriveled But think hand. about this, that even in the church, there might be people who aren't wanting you to win. Right. Now, I don't think that, that that majority of the time is true. I mean, the but church, are, of, so. the church of uh, today, Christ has come and he's invaded the church, hasn't yeah. he? And he's taken back his church. But in those days, I just want you to see this picture, mm -hmm. though. In that time, this man was say, facing great opposition from the people who were there, but he went anyways. He still goes to church. Well, I don't go to church because people aren't nice to me. Go to anyways. church. Jesus was in the place and they wanted to kill him. 
That's a tough church. But he still went. That's a tough church. And we don't face that kind of opposition today that they faced, but they still went. This My point is the pattern was you still went even when there yes. was opposition. Right. That's where you go. And we you don't seek. face that in God's seek house today. Seek ye first the kingdom. Jesus said to the man with the shriveled hand, stand up in front of everyone. And then Jesus asked them, which is lawful on the Sabbath to do, good or to do evil, to save a life or to kill? But they remained silent. So we asked the right question, right? I'm going to do yeah. something good right now. Because it, you know what? When you get into that kind of junk and somebody brings it up, you really don't have a good answer. Yeah. Uh, right? Because and some religion doesn't have a good answer when you ask the right question. That's right. Why are owls evil? God made them. Well... Because they're... When you say, why are owls evil? Some people might be like, what are you talking about? They were evil. You had to, my mom was throwing away owls in the house. We believed in the 80s that owls were demonic. Owls. Owls. But God created everything. Yeah. And this was kind of what Peter would, had been talking about. Is that God is the creator of everything. And all, Paul said this. Even the food sacrificed to idols, God created everything. It's a, and the, the idols are not real gods, so it's don't worry about this. Yet. But people get concerned about food. They get concerned about so, t- so stuff. Context, just for a second, if I could yeah. draw in like even your two week ago message, is that there are people in God's house who have been taught wrong. Right. And they might bring their wrong teaching on you. Right. And we have to remember that the hospital, like Jesus said, I came for the sick, that the church is full of people who are trying to get it right, right. but may not have all the information just yet. They may not be acting exactly Christ like. And But you need a healing. You need a miracle. Where do you go? You go to God's house. And you become the pillar that's immovable. Right. You become the voice of hope. See, believers who are uh, have disconnected from the church need to reinvade the church and bring back the life oh, to the church that it, it needs. Love it. Right? So instead Jesus of standing back and it. saying, well, I wish church were different, I'm saying to you, go in and make it different. Oh, so good. Because Jesus didn't... St- Their church was probably more messed up than most churches today. This is a and, messed up church. And Jesus didn't go, well, that place is a mess. Well, and no, healing, he went healing to, can't happen there anymore. He went to make a difference. But remember that you and I are supposed to be able to do more than him. You get into the church and you make the difference. Wow. You, right, right, and you see what yeah. mom and dad did and which allowed us then also to make such a difference. Because you hear the church we grew up in. There was times that we were in churches where women couldn't wear pants and men's hair had to be a certain length. You and couldn't have drums, which is a big thing for me because I was called by God to be a drummer you as a have young drums. man. Well, because which, those so are, I was evil because I, still I wanted to play the drums for God. I still don't understand the argument of the drums. You couldn't dance. And my argument, even when mom said you couldn't dance, I go, but, but Dave, I go, but D- David danced. And then when they got mad for him dancing, it didn't turn out well. So I don't know. Why can David dance and I can't dance? I don't understand it. It was a good question. It was a good question. Well, you got to do everything unto the Lord. So what's happened is, is that people have been taught religion, people have been taught wrong by well-intended pastors yes. that mean well. Uh, people have heard the wrong things about church. They're in church, but they don't always have it all right. So within context, we have to remember they're trying to do the right thing. I mean, unfortunately, these Pharisees were actually trying, these teachers of the law were actually trying to they do the right thing. They thought they were thing, doing what's right. But that didn't distract the healer from coming to the house mm. or from the sick from coming to the house. And it did not stop the miracle from happening to the man that needed the miracle. Because Jesus said, he, he, he says this in verse 5, he looked around at them in anger, and he was deeply distressed at their stubborn hearts. And he said to the man, stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was completely restored. Wow. He got his miracle. He got his miracle. Imagine how he had lived his whole life not being able to use that hand, yeah. not being able to use, and all he did that morning is go to church. And You never know when you're going to have the one moment. Oh, I love it. You never know. That was when the you're teaching. The one, he may have went to, to, to church every. It's a synagogue every Sunday. Sunday. He may have developed a habit of being there every Sunday, and and every Sunday he still went home with a shriveled hand. But you never know when that one Sunday. Sabbath. I know somebody's writing in right now. The Sunday's not the Sabbath. I know that. Okay, but we go to church on Sunday, so it's, it's the same idea. You never know when that one service. Right. You're going to get the touch that you've been believing God for. You never know when, when Hannah had been there year after year praying, praying for, a child. for a child. You never know when that one time is going to happen, but you stayed home. You kept going You missed home. it that day. Jesus was in the synagogue that day, but you missed your miracle because right. you, you got distracted by some other meeting. Or Be in God's house. Be in God's house. The one. You're one miracle away. Who did know? I could have missed the Sunday when Holly was in church, which is funny. She'd been in church quite a bit, but I wasn't in church. 
You're in, talking about how you met your wife. wife. My wife. When wow. I met, now, all the girls before, where'd I meet them at? The Devil House. That's where I met my girls. Now, I know that because I'm his brother. Mm -hmm. That was an actual club. It was called oh, the, the Devil, Devil House, House, which I think should have been your first warning. Right. <laughs> Where'd you meet your girlfriend? The Devil House. So you can either meet her at Devil House or... God's House? <laughs> okay, God's House. So I decided that I was going to start going to church every week. And wouldn't yeah. you know, one Sunday, yeah. I meet Holly. Yeah. God only needs just one. Just, just one, one can change. It could be one sermon that changes your, your marriage. It could be one... Show up. Well, I, there ain't no good-looking men in the house. God's only got to bring one man. One. Just one. That's yeah. not hard to do for the author and finisher of your faith, the Alpha and the Omega. Now, he can do unfortunately, that. Unfortunately, he was there last Sunday. Oh, you missed him. I'm so sorry. But another girl got him. Yeah. So that worked out My good. My apologies. Yes. <laughs> but could one, be another one, one this Sunday. One miracle. One thing for your children could be one turnaround in the midst of their junior high years that they just needed that one Sunday, that one message that grabbed a hold of, of, of an anchor. I know that mine was one church camp with Mark Hankins. I don't know why. This is that wow. one. Remember that one church camp? I do remember that one church camp, man. The Holy Spirit broke out. It was insane. I'm crying. I'm like, it was it, insane. You got all these teenage uh, boys and girls giving their lives to the Lord holy. It was incredible. And Mark brought a message of grace, which is something that we didn't hear from anyone in our circle of teaching. That's true. Because right, and so he brought like a message that it didn't fully get me until I got in my twenties. Right, it, but it was he uh, planted a seed though that hit you so hard, and you went, "Oh my God, I'm God loves me despite my behavior. I'm not a bad person." I Wait, thought I was a bad person. I my sins I, are for God doesn't count my sins against me. Wait, what a sec. What, what's going on? What are you I saying? I've never heard this before. Is that in the Bible? Because every Sunday I had to confess all of my sins or I was going to burn in hell and miss the rapture and have to have scorpions and dragons eat me for seven years or three and a half, whatever you want to believe. <laughs> this is the hell You've I live been in. Left behind. Zoom, zoom. The thing comes down, a little balloon goes up. They killed a nine year old in a Christian movie. <laughs> this is what we do to me. And then Let's I just pray this, this over is the day. Me. No, no, no. This We're, is me at night. Wait, in bed. People are going to have bad dreams. This is where I was. I just, with my eyes open. <laughs> <laughs> but God has not given us a spirit <laughs> of fear. They but gave a power me power and love and a sound, sound mind. Let's pray over the day. You, you pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, you ask that you bless their day, Lord. Take this word that was brought here and bring life to them. Lord, that they're just one away, one away mm. from a financial breakthrough. They're just one great idea away. They are just one new piece of information away in your house that will restore their marriage. They're just one touch and one miracle away from that diabetes being gone and whatever is out of order in their health or somebody else's health in their life. Lord, just one. Mm. And so you find in the Bible that mo all of the greats were one moment away, one touch away from getting on the road to their purpose, their destiny. There were one Paul moment. There were, there, there's so many one moments. And so, Lord, we go to your house and we seek. We seek you first. Mm. And then all of these things are added to our lives. Bless their day. Guide them, direct them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we hope you liked today. If you did, thumbs up, share Boom. it. Wherever a church is that's near you, make sure you're in church or church life is worth the drive. It might even be far away from you. Yeah, if you're living in Alaska, drive down. But if you live close to us, please come hang out with us. We, we got Scrooge going on. Yeah. Don't forget our candlelight service if you live in the area. If you don't, make sure you're somewhere for candlelight service. But ours is... I'm tell I'm saying this. It's something that is going to be like big. Every year it gets big. It's incredible. They've been working on it since August. It is incredible. It's going to be quite an event. We do it in about 50 minutes. We keep uh -huh. it nice and short for families because it's it's you know. And then uh, there's a message. There's a great music. There's people uh, dancing and a lot of the arts. We're not even going to tell you the candles. big stuff. We're not going to tell you the big stuff. It's there's crazy. Big stuff. Yeah. Big big big. You're going to want to be there. All right. Be blessed. God bless you. When we look at all of the greats in the Bible, I've been hard pressed to find anyone that didn't happen. We find people that are struggling with the same things that we are oftentimes in our life. Things that we have struggled with or things that we are struggling with. And it just took one moment. Somebody say one moment. It took one moment of God to change the whole thing around. So many times we feel so broken.
that we think it's going to be so many things that have got to happen before anything changes. And what I'm telling you today, it just needs one. You just need one moment for a turnaround. You see that Moses just needed one burning bush to find his purpose. Gideon just needed one visit from God to get on the road, to get out of the, the fear and the stress and the anxiety of his life. Israel just needed one more lap around their Jericho to get a victory. How many people know that you are just one moment? Come on, you know what? Come on, somebody in this house. You just need one. Just need one for a whole turnaround. 